Today's show, y'all, is all about family ties. And you've heard me talk about my Aunt Peggy. Well, here she is. She's going to make her orange glazed ham steak along with her scrumptious sweet potato souffle. You've done it again, good, Queenie. Good, good. And then I make some divine buttery spinach and mushrooms. And y'all, my Uncle Bob is here. And he's going to be making his specialty. Fresh apple cake. Abracadabra. <laughs> There's gonna be plenty of food, family, and a whole bunch of fun. <laughs> Today is all about family ties. And this pretty man standing here, y'all, this was my daddy's baby brother. <laughs> and he was just always this huge personality in my life. I almost wish that we didn't have to cook because I just want to talk to you and soak up every memory that you have in that pretty little head. But we've well, got to get started with Uncle Bob's apple cake, y'all. Now, Uncle Bob is chopping us up three cups of green apples. Now, you can use either a Macintosh or a Granny Smith. And he's leaving the peeling on, y'all. Uncle Bob was a fancy New York model. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, we were so proud of you. You lived a life that we could only dream of. Well, it's the other way around now, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Paula Dean's uncle. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, because years I was Bob Hires' his niece. <laughs> so, payback time. I know it, I know Y'all, Uncle Bob lived in New York, and for my graduation gift, Mama and Daddy gave me a trip to New York City. Well, I was 18 years old, wide yeah. I thought oh, I boy. knew everything. I didn't know jack, y'all. <laughs> and uh, so my gift was to go up there and spend two weeks with Uncle Bob. Oh, boy. Poor thing. You took me to the World's Fair. It was in 1965. Yep. And we were riding on that subway thing. <laughs> And Uncle Bob was pooped. Oh. So we got on the subway, and of course, I was like this. Uncle Bob got, got on and immediately went to sleep. The train stopped, and Uncle Bob looked up, and he said, well, where are we? We were we, we were supposed to get off back there. I said, I don't know where we are. I didn't know we were supposed to get off. So we had to go back yep. to get to your house. But we had a wonderful, wonderful time. In fact, you know, Bobby, my youngest son was named after Happy. you and Daddy, yeah. Robert Earl. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so okay. we're making a cake, y'all. Okay. Now to go with your apples, we're gonna need some walnuts. So I'm using about a cup of nuts, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna add two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay. And I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And we're just gonna toss this Okay. around with those apples. You know what, I think I'm gonna add two teaspoons. I like that. I like that vanilla. Well, I just about have the apples ready. Okay, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna measure out our flour. I'm gonna use three cups of all-purpose flour and I'm gonna run it through a sifter. Uncle Bob, now if you wanna use this as a measure, that's a cup measure. So that's three cups of apples going in there. Okay. I'm gonna use one teaspoon of baking soda. Now that soda, y'all, not powder, it makes a difference. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt. Uncle Bob, he started out, y'all, his career. He was one of those water skiers. I was in the water ski show. I did all the over the jump and carried the girls on my back called doubles and uh -huh. The clown act, and uh, I had a good time. One day, this young lady came to town, and her career was just starting to take off. She had a sitcom, I think, on, on TV. Yeah. Well, Uncle Bob was in charge of escorting her around. And uh, this woman's name was Carol Burnett. Yep. And y'all dated for a good while, didn't you? Well, actually, uh, a good while back then was uh, four, four weeks on her vacation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all, moving on with this cake. Now, I'm gonna put our wet ingredients over here. I've got three eggs. I'm gonna put in two cups of sugar. I'm gonna measure one and a fourth cups of a vegetable oil. Now, if you'll come over here 
and take your mixer on kebab. Yeah. And cream okay. that together. And I will take our dry mixture and add to that. And this is gonna be really, really thick. Oh boy. That's looking good. Isn't that looking good? Oh, this is just about ready. And then we're just gonna stir in okay. all those wonderful apples oh, that good. have soaked in that cinnamon. Yep. Now, while you're doing that, I'm gonna okay. come over here, cause we're gonna cook this in a bunt pan, y'all. Oh. And I'm gonna spray our pan real good with oil. I'm glad I finally got to do something with you, Paula. No, and this is my too. this is my favorite cake too, dear. I oh. know it's your favorite cake. And my favorite niece. Oh, you're so sweet. I know. You're my favorite uncle. <laughs> oh, We're well, just I having tell a you. little love fest. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Uncle Bob, I'll hold the bowl. And okay. if you'll Put it all in our pan. Okay. So you just scrape that in there. Yeah. We've got our oven preheated, y'all, to 325. And we're going to bake this for about an hour and a half. Okay. I mean, it's really a dense cake. Well, I'll wait around till it's done. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. You're not going anywhere. No. We got some catching up to do. I know. So I'm thrilled about that today. All right. So in the oven that goes. Okay. Coming up, y'all, my Aunt Peggy stops by to make two of her irresistible dishes. Yum! Then our spinach gets all dressed up for this terrific meal. Doesn't that look delicious, y'all? And later, y'all, my Uncle Bob and I are going to perfect his favorite dessert. It's beautiful! Isn't it pretty? I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. This is my mother's sister. She's a middle sister. Not only is she beautiful, she is a fabulous cook. And her orange glazed ham is just out of this world. And I'm gonna let you start with the oranges. Okay. I want a quarter of a cup of orange juice to okay. just the two oranges. Zest. <laughs> Zest. Y'all, listen, Aunt Peggy is so oh, funny. My, my, Michael, Michael, and, Michael and I get so tickled at her because she is so smart, and in her head she knows just what it's supposed to be. But when it comes out on that southern tongue, it can be a totally different word. She just asked me for jest, y'all, so I'm going to give her jest. <laughs> okay, so what are you going to be and doing, I, my I'm beautiful be, uh, lady? And I'm starting the glaze, a quarter of a cup of sugar. Okay. And listen, don't watch how I spill things. I won't watch. And then I'm going to add a tablespoon plus a teaspoon of cornstarch. Okay. Two tablespoonsful of boiling water, and we're going to blend this together. This is gonna be delicious. Yes. Okay, I've got your zest. Do you want me to just throw it in there? Please, would you just go ahead and throw it in there and I'll Okay, put the in back. goes your zest. Great. Ooh, good, you said it right. <laughs> <laughs> Where did this recipe come this from? This recipe was in George's home when I married and went there to live. Uh -uh. And uh, I'm sure that it either came from uh, Mother Art or from his grandmother, Phillips. All right, now here's your ham steaks, yes. Peggy. And they're beautiful. They're Look how gorgeous these are, y'all. See how nice and thick? They look to me to be about a pound each and maybe an inch thick. Okay, so how's that? Now we're oh, just gonna put the glaze on top of this. A, uh, about half of it, we're going to save some to baste it okay. as we go along. <laughs> Okay. We All right, we're going to put this in the, in the oven. oven for one hour at 350 degrees. All righty, let's move on. You know, Aunt Peggy makes the best sweet potato souffle, y'all. So I'm going to drain okay. your sweet potatoes, potatoes for you. Yes, please. And I'm going to bring them down to you. And we're going to start this dish. And I'm All going right. to let you do the liquids for me, and I'm going to mash the potatoes. Okay. Okay. So those are drained good, I'm Peggy. gonna mash these up. I've got three cups of sweet potatoes here. And you give me my orders. You've been telling me what to do now for 62 okay. years, so you continue. I'm going to let you do up three <laughs> eggs for me. Okay. 
good. So this is so simple, y'all. Paul, if you will put a stick of butter in there. Okay, you want it melted, right? Yes. Okay. And a half a cup of milk. After the milk, if you will add a tablespoonful of vanilla flavor. Okay. And then a... Do you use any particular kind of vanilla no, flavoring? No, but I just really always want it to be pure vanilla. Well, do you remember when Grandma was doing a lot of baking? I used to have to go get her to and take her store. to Albany Drug Company. Yes. And she would buy her vanilla from the pharmacist. Right. And she refused to use any other mm -hmm. brand uh -huh. of vanilla, like y'all. real stuff. All right, into that. Oh, that smells delicious. We will add one cup of granulated sugar. Okay. You know, sweet potatoes are naturally sweet, y'all, but they've got to have that extra sugar to really sweeten them up well, good. Uh -huh. And then to that, we want to add half of a teaspoonful of salt. Okie doke, I'm just gonna go like that. Uh -huh. Yummy. And I'm gonna just pour in your one stick of melted butter for you. Thank you, dear. We're gonna add the eggs and sugar to the sweet potatoes, y'all. Get it all blended, and then just pour it into our grease casserole dish. And so gonna, now for a quick topping. We're gonna do uh, one cup of brown sugar. Here, you tell me and yes, let and me you do dig. it. Yep. And you just give um, me directions. Yes, one cup of brown sugar. Okay. Half a cup of flour. Of flour. Cup of nuts. Cup of nuts. And of course we're using pecans, y'all. And then you've got one more ingredient yes. for me, don't yes, you? Yes, I've got your butter. This is a half a stick, y'all, of just chilled cubed butter. I'm gonna put my hands in okay, here. Okay, that's the way I like to do it. Sometimes that's the horrible. only way that you can get it there all together. So you've about got that mixed this, together. Uh -huh, and we're just gonna we crumble this on top of mm -hmm. the potato souffle. Uh-huh. And we're gonna bake this in a preheated oven at what temperature, Peggy? 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, looks delicious. And okay. while you're finishing that, you know, we have got this dish filled to the top. Great. So I'm just gonna get a, a baking that, sheet. Yes, yeah, and that would be a good. We will Just so we won't uh -huh. have a mess in the oven. All right, there we go. Yum. Uh. You've done it again, good, Queenie. Good, good. Coming up, y'all, I'm going to be taking our side of spinach right on over the top. Now, this is one of those real healthy dishes yes. that I love, love, love. And then Aunt Peggy and I are going to give this meal a taste. This is just perfect. Mm hmm. It couldn't be better. And later, Uncle Bob and I mix up the sweetest topping for this lip smacking apple cake. This is a fabulous cake, y'all. I hope y'all are enjoying the show, and I want to hear from you. Tell me what recipes or videos you'd like to see me make by just leaving a short comment below. Now, let's get back to the show, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back. Today's all about family ties. I've been having a wonderful time with my Aunt Peggy, and she's going to chat with us while we're making this wonderful buttery spinach with mushrooms. And you know what? All you have to do is continue to just sit there and look pretty. That's good. Isn't she beautiful, yes. y'all? Look at that beautiful hair. And she's almost 80, did I tell y'all? <laughs> she likes to tell my age. Well, you know what? And I, I tell it too, because I'm proud of it. Not as, many people are my age and in good of shape as I am. As you should be. You are just beautiful. All right, I'm just gonna slice up our baby portabella until I have about a cup. I try and eat right, exercise right, and live right. And well, it's hard some days. I know it is. Keeping it all together. And listen, y'all, she eats like a horse. She eats like a horse. It's just not fair. Oh. I am fortunate there that I can eat. But you realize I'm still walking two and a half miles every day. You walk two and a half uh -huh. miles every yes. day. Uh -huh. Well, I, on I, a good day, I'll drive that far. I, I know you're not a walker. <laughs> I'm not all that crazy about it. I know. All right, now, to our skillet, Peggy, I'm going to put about a tablespoon of butter. Good. And, you know, I, I'm not a big user of olive oil. Oh, really? You know, I, I love my butter, but I do love the taste that olive oil gives Good. dishes. So I'm gonna use about half and half. Uh -huh. Half olive oil, half butter. 
The flavor is gonna be fabulous. And I've got my one clove of garlic, and I'm gonna just run that, Peggy, through our little garlic press. And you'll come up with slivers? Uh-huh, there's our garlic. I'm gonna add a little salt. Now I'm gonna toss in our mushrooms and then squeeze in about a teaspoon of lemon juice, y'all. I'm gonna put us just a little bit of fresh leeks in there. And I've just got it sitting up here in water, y'all, because it can get dirt down in these leaves. So, ooh, that one looks good mm -hmm, and clean, beautiful. though. See that? Uh-huh, gorgeous. Mmm. We're gonna wind up with a half a cup of leeks, and we're only gonna use the white part. And you can see I'm slicing it fairly thin, y'all. May I have a taste, please? Yes, you may. Thank you. Oh, it's so good. Isn't that yummy? Mm-hmm, it's delicious. All I right. like the consistency of it. Now that's just gonna puff up our dish a little bit as far as flavor. So while that's sauteing, I'm gonna come over here, Peggy, and I'm gonna grate us about a fourth of a cup of fresh Parmesan cheese. Sounds wonderful. Now this is one of those real healthy dishes yes. that I love, love, love. And the cheese is gonna give it a little richness. That's about it. All right, now I'm gonna add two cups of spinach and stir that around and let it drink up that butter and that olive oil and that garlic. All right, I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of heavy cream and I'm gonna add a fourth of a cup of a vegetable broth. And while I'm doing this, Peggy, mm -hmm. why don't you get our ham and our sweet potatoes out? Oh, good. And now I'm just gonna let that reduce just a little bit. Doesn't that look delicious, y'all? Okay. So I'm gonna turn that up. Ooh, that look beautiful at that ham steak. Look. It's gorgeous. Yum, yum. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Okay, and this is the sweet potato souffle. Mmm. So why don't you be slicing us up some ham? It smells delicious, y'all. Looks so yummy. All right, now the last ingredient I'm gonna put is a fourth of a cup of the fresh parm. Those leeks in there, Peggy, are just beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna just take our spinach and I'm gonna fix our plates, if that's all right with you. Doesn't that look wonderful? Doesn't it look yummy? And, and you I'm do the- give us uh -huh. some sweet potatoes. Great. Oh. Ooh, this ham looks delicious. It, it's wonderful. just beautiful. So this is beautiful, beautiful colors. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That ham is delicious. Great. I love the orange on it. Uh-huh, this is just perfect. Mm-hmm. It couldn't be better. Oh, that spinach is heavenly. This has just been wonderful, you being in the kitchen with me. This is delicious. We'll be right back in a few minutes. All about family ties today, y'all. Coming up, y'all, that fabulous Uncle Bob is back, and he's going to help me drizzle our dessert with a luscious glaze. That just hits the spot. It's delicious, isn't it? I so hope y'all are enjoying the show. And if you do, be sure to click like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you'll never miss a video. And we'll be right back after the break. I'm going to be making your glaze. OK. Uh, and you put a honey glaze yes. on your apple cake. Yes, I do. And it's so easy, y'all. It's just one cup of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of honey. Uncle Bob, I know you were concerned about that cake getting done. It's ready. <laughs> it's over there on the counter. Oh, boy. You're not going to have to wait for your cake. Oh, wow. Two tablespoons exactly. of milk. Here All right, Uncle go. Bob, if oh. you would just put that on the okay. cake plate, what we'll do is just sit Turn that it mm -hmm. over and let it come out. Please, to the cake gods. Abracadabra. <laughs> oh. Oh. Is it under there? There it, it is. It is <laughs> under there. <laughs> it's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Now, I'm going to get our frosting blended. 
then just drizzle it right over our apple cake. Mmm, absolutely delicious. This is a fabulous cake, y'all. Cheers. Mm. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Mm. Oh, boy, right. Mm. Well, that just hits the spot. It's delicious, isn't it? I love my apple cake. And here she comes. There's Aunt Peggy Uncle Bob. She must have smelled this delicious dessert. And I must have some of your cake. Oh, well, I want Please, you oh. to. And I know you. We were so busy standing up here and laughing and having and a good talking. time. I forgot all about Aunt Peggy in there. But I can remember when you were in those good looking trunks. Oh, yeah. And you had that gorgeous tan. And listen here, time has been oh, kind look, to you. Oh, he's sucking in. He's sucking <laughs> in. Time has, <laughs> time has treated you quite kindly. It has. Maybe not as good as it's treated me, but. <laughs> well, <I> just... <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's always a pleasure to be in your company. And listen, it is it wonderful that we can be in her company. I tell you. Oh, how sweet. I'm so that's proud sweet. of her, Bob. I'm not quite as bad and troublesome as I used to be. No, no, <laughs> thank God. <laughs> Y'all, I've had such a wonderful time. I'm a very lucky woman, and I love you both so very much. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if y'all enjoyed this week's full episode Friday, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, friends. <laughs>